a safe learning environment, well-structured curriculum, and dedicated staff are a few of the characteristics of a great school. There are also some of the traits the Grant Lee Adams Memorial School prides itself on as it celebrates its 67th anniversary. Major Andrew Skeet took over as principal of the Blackman St. Joseph Secondary School three years ago. He and his staff are committed to transforming the image of the school. We look at some of the success stories coming out of the St. Joseph Institution. My name is Alert Seeley, a very proud past student of the Grant Adams Memorial, which I attended as the West St. Joseph Secondary Modern. I'm always proud to be on this pre these premises and interacting in some way or the other with what's happening. That's a feeling I have currently surging through my body. Hi, my name is Kishana Bancroft, and I'm a pro past student of the Grant Lianas Memorial School. I would have entered these halls back in 2001, and then I would have graduated back in 2007. Um, during my years here, I would have been a cadet, um, some very, very good times. Um, I also played volleyball where I was the captain, and Mr. Griffith, who is still here, he can attest to that. My name is Cynthia Collimore. I'm a janitor at the Grant Lee Adams Memorial School. I went, I went here from 83 to 89. First it was West St. Joseph, and the following year, it was turned into Grant Lee Adams Memorial School. My name is Latoya Ford. I arrived at the Grant Lee Adams Memorial School in 2014. I left in 2020. I, I would say my experience here was outstanding. There is no school I would rather be at. I, I was the head girl twice. I was a junior prefect in Full Farm. I had wonderful friends. They, they were hardworking like myself. It feels like I was only here as a student from yesterday, but when you check the analysts, they find that it was here from the 10th of January, 1962. And it would have left then about 1965. And he did that, and let us stress that. I only spent three years here, 62 to 65. And it came from, it was transferred from the St. Augustine's boys in St. George, which is now part of the Cuff, but more, to this school, 10th December 1962. And it's a short time on paper, but I felt like I had a good stint here. And then reflect on quote unquote, what I would call my achievements, you know, I'm very proud of it. And it was a long time, as I said, three years of official secondary education it wasn't long. I never knew a first, second, or third, or early fourth form. I came straight to what we call a 4A2. And then I went to 5A and out. My experience here was a good one, to be quite honest. Um, nothing is perfect. Um, when I first came here at first, I was a bit laid back, a bit shy, not knowing what would happen um, after hearing stories. But when I entered these halls, these teachers became like parents to me up to this day, especially Miss Bishop. Um, she would have took me under her wing and from then until now, even when I had finished school, she made sure to always keep in contact with me to see how my progress would have gone. Um, a lot of other teachers are still here and they would have took me under their wings and made sure that I would have done very well throughout school. Um, it was a very good experience to be quite honest. Some of the teachers you can actually go to to talk to if you're having issues at home, issues with your schoolwork. They took the time on evenings, especially when you are doing your SBS or your CXC, to make sure that you pass 
all of your sexies. And I could test to that because I would have gotten back all of my sexies except to one at that point in time, which was math. So it was a really, really good experience throughout my years here. Come June 1965, I was being offered to do five, and those they call them ordinary level GCE certificates. Never knew a first, second, third, or early fourth form. People say boast, but they love to boast about good things. You know? And anything is possible if you put your best foot forward. And I would have left, as I said, then in June 65, having completed those RNA levels. This really proved a stimulating kind of foundation for me because it went on from there in life, you know, to achieve. The teachers there, they were very, very encouraging. They were loving and they helped you in all sorts of ways. As I traverse through Barbados and I meet people, they ask me where did I attend school? And I said, I attend the university at Blackmans. And they were, university at Blackmans? I said, yes, university at Blackmans, which is the Grantley Adams Memorial School. When I arrived here, my principal was Mr. Brown. He was, he was awesome. <laughs> and then as I was leaving, my principal was Major Skeet. He is, <laughs> he's, I think it's so awesome that he was, He's a major, you know, like my principal is a major. I'm now studying at the Barbados Community College. Pharmacist, I want to be a pharmacist, you know. I was advised that I should first try to be an assistant from a doctor friend. So that's what I'm aiming for. Got a call to come and teach. That was the phrase I used. I am a young primary school teacher. And then, I don't know if it's a young man's thing, but you're always looking for more money at work or from work. And while that teacher, they gave that up and went into Barclays Bank. Because this was called Barclays Bank DCO. You know, that was the name of the bank, Blaine Broad Street, spent some time with them. And young people, they say are restless. I might be restless, but not in a kind of a unpleasant way. And then, they left teaching, they went to Barclays Bank, as they said, they left Barclays Bank, then they went to the Caribbean Development Bank. I always boast the persons that went to the Caribbean Development Bank when a great economist like Saafalos was the president. And when a vacancy arose for a tutor first at the Barbados Workers Union Labor College, but then I had upgraded my seventy or levels, et cetera. I was able to shift then from Barclays Bank and from the Caribbean Development Bank then obviously to work with the East Caribbean office of the Body Show Company. I worked with them for a few years and became attached to the unit. And those days at the unit, we were active members of the members, for example, we would go to the Union's Labor College to be educated in industrial relations. And that was the thing that really pushed me, being in the classroom of human resources matters, industrial relations matters, etc. And as time, as Good, not fit, but as good fortune would have it, a vacancy arose at the said Barbados Workers in Labor College, you know, in 85 thereabouts for a tutor at the college, and it was accepted. And then he subsequently then became principal of the Labor College from the chair retired. Barbadians, we invite you to get involved and play your part as we clean and green Barbados. Come into your community with media launches, bulk waste collection exercises, community engagement sessions, and giveaways. Get on board. Let's keep Barbados clean and green. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Let me begin preparations. It's hurricane season. Let me sit down and reason. Let me seek your relation. Grow your shelters, Bajan. Help out one another, get liberation. Develop emergency community plans so that we could function. Remove outdoor objects. Make sure that you went to the ATM. Stack up 
with water. Make sure you clean the gutter in lot. What about ten food? Make sure you got some stock up in your room. Make sure you prop up the pail and tie down the roof. Let me start to prepare real soon. Let me begin preparations. It's hurricane season. Let me sit down and reason. Let me secure a nation. Know your shelters, Bajan. Help out one another, get the ration. Develop emergency community plans so that we could function. Over the years, I'm sure you probably would have heard a lot of negative reviews about the Granny Annas Memorial School. And I will say this. It is not true. It is a lie. We can't let one bad apple fall the whole bunch. Right? Here at the Granny Adams, the teachers, they look out for you. They give you that special care, that special love, and they work with you. All of us are not the same. So you might progress faster than the other person. But best believe that they're going to make sure that all of you get to the finish line whether point a get first or point b we have to make sure that you work together and these teachers they look out for you yes you might have an occasional fight but that's anywhere that is anywhere because conflict that's how the world goes but we have to just make sure that you work with one another and best believe that you're going to build some very long lasting friendships here because up to this day my group that i came in with one way we're still very close so you're going to build some very lasting relationship. Best believe it. The Granny Adams Memorial School holds dear to my heart. Athletic, netball. You know, we were rich in athletics. I love athletics and I love netball. And, you know, I encourage the students here to pursue sport because it can take you from here all over the world, you don't have to pay a cent. And I encourage them to do that. Those that love athletics, which is my first love, to strive for the best. It helps you. You know, sometimes they might not have people to encourage you, but if you find someone who can encourage you, someone who can help you along the way, you know, you, you learn from them, you ask questions in the direction in which to go. You join a club, if you can afford it, but if you can't, you just have to have that ability, that mindset to achieve what you want to. I've heard people over the years saying negative things about Grantley Adam, but that was not my experience. As a prefect myself and a student here, I've encountered many students, many with, you know, every school has their group of bad behavior. But as a prefect, I encourage them to be better. And most of the time they did listen and take that encouragement. The teachers were very encouraging and helpful. And because of this, I left school with eight CXCs. And I'm very proud of myself for doing so. Just last week, I was inside. I went to get my hair done. And in the saloon, the barber was telling me, Grantley Adams is this and the next. And I just went, I went off on him. I said, Grantley Adams Memorial School? University at Blackmans? No, sweetheart. Loving school. They come up here, they come up here. And, you know, they, 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 we embrace them. We encourage them. And I just, I just, I, 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 I was lost for words when I started to talk to this gentleman. Because I said, you can't, you can't um, describe my school as this. This is University at Blackmans. People... People grace the school, people of excellence. You know who this name after? The late Sir Grantly Adams. Uh, we, have, we have people like Pat Paris. We have doctors, nurses, people that come from this alma mater here. And you just, I was, I was really, really vexed. And you know, people start to say, you get on very, I said, yes, this is University of Black Months. You can't disgrace my school. So I love this school. You can't talk about my school like that. But and all in all, it was love at the end of the day, but I love my school. I love here. I love school. So the interaction with the teachers here and how they dealt with me um, left a very great mark on me. It inspired me so much that now I am a teacher and I want to be able to give back just like how they did with me and give me that love and affection. 
I want to be able to do that for my students now. So I'm currently a teacher at the Lockerbie College. And thus far, it has been a great, great experience. The part of the slave hospital, from my knowledge, what it was what it gathered over time would be would have been part of this complex here, for want of a better word. And of course the Grungsman, for want of a better word, used to occupy part of it. But for me, very importantly, my fifth farm classroom was also in, I'm going to use a nice word on this block. That's the words we used to there. My fifth farm classroom was in this block. And we had some good times there. And as I said, you talked earlier about how it impressed me, how the school impressed me. It, made, it took me to a certain level of educational inquiry and that type of thing, which would be more marked within the fifth farm environment, which we enjoyed in this building. Returning here, I, I was so anxious. I, 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 I couldn't wait. I, I love it. And, you know, returning here, seeing some of my old teachers who taught me at school. When I first returned, um, Mr. Maskell, John Maskell, who was the principal, you know, when he first, he, 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 op he opened up his arms to me. That's how we got here. And, you know, he, he, I love him. I love him. I love him. He, he was always a pleasant person when he was going to school and returning to work the same way. And teachers like Mr. Grave, Ms. Um, Bishop, Mr. Tate, all those old teachers, you know, there they're, they're is a warm welcoming. And to get now to interact with these students, to tell them where you can uh, give them directions, they can encourage them. You know, if I see a student doing something that is not right, I speak to them and they listen. And I can remember a couple of years back, there was a student, she was about to sit the exams and she had on hair. And they tell her, well, you have to take off the hair or not, you cannot do exams. And she come out, she stormed out to the classroom and I was there. And I pulled her one day, I said to her, you come here to do something, to achieve something, but listen to me. Take off that hair. If you take off the hair, it's just a matter of a couple of days, weeks, you got to do the CXC. But when CXC done, you got all the time to wear your hair. And setting that the next day, she came back hair off. She accomplished what she came to, and she went off and do what she had to do, and she achieved what she wanted. And when her mother see me, she said, simply, I thank you. I thank you because she went here. And for you to get her to understand, it, you know, and I felt good. I felt good to know that, to give an encouraging word to a student that, you know, take them a long way to achieve what they want to. And even here now with the children at school, you know, some, some just be looking, attention and they get on but I was a part of that so I understand and I just speak to them and they some of them were here and they would you know go on and they will say ma'am even now when they, they, they I go to talk and I see somebody say ma'am ma'am and they will tell her friends she look up for me at school you know and I know they say look you know it's by trying to put them in the right direction in the way they should go so I pray that you know, here, my presence being here would touch some of the children, you know, bring a book change in their lives. And I thank God for being back here at Grantley Adams. I really and truly thank God for that. Grantley Adams Memorial School is that it is truly an amazing and outstanding school. The teachers here are so hardworking. They help you, truly. They, sit, they stay after school and help you. There, this is the school I would prefer over all the others. Such a hard, hard woman to know. I love I, to grace these quarters once again. I, I love it. I love the Grant Lee Adams Memorial School. The impact on my life that West St. Joseph would have had, and to some degree, it still has. Is that it positioned me to see things a little more maturely and progressively. 
Because when he came here, he was 15 years of age from a primary background. But then trust, being thrust into RNA levels and a different kind of approach to education and training. And it, made me, you know, it made me start to think differently. Get the primary school feeling out of my system and to begin to grab opportunities for our education and development, which still lurks with me even to this very day. I still contemplate at this age of doing or attempting certain things within the academic arena. You know, so it has given me that the effect that West of Jesus had on me then and still now is always pursuing education, self-development, or development of self-education ways uh, to help others and uh, of course to get advantage of opportunities that may come my way. As the school motto states, equality, opportunity, service. The Grantley Adams Memorial School continues to be a beacon of light to all those who have benefited from all they have to offer. <laughs>